This is Mail F5 by Attain Response. And what it is, it's a web-based text, HTML, and video messaging and collaboration application. And when I say messaging, what I'm referring to is email, mobile email, chat, and SMS. And when I say collaboration, what I'm referring to is the ability to share calendars, contacts, tasks, and documents all online. And so essentially what that does is give you the ability to communicate and work together with colleagues and others. And one thing that you may be thinking as you go through these tutorials is that this is very, very impressive functionality. And it's very cool, but you may not need all of this functionality today. Well, that's great because with Attain Response, you can start out with basic email boxes for as little as $3 per month per box, and then as you and your business grow and your needs change, you can upgrade. Or you can start out of the gate today with a Com F5 suite, so you can take your business to that next level. And that gives you all of the enhanced functionality and all of our services. And so one thing that you can do, which a lot of businesses are doing, is get the Com F5 suite, which gives them all the functionality, as I mentioned, and then they add video network or email edition mailboxes. And that, that way they save money and still get all the enhanced functionality. Now the email edition mailbox gives you really the essentials that you need. The network and video edition mailbox gives you the more enhanced collaboration and some uh, other features that are available in the system. And the difference between network and video edition mailboxes are that obviously the video edition has a lot more enhanced functionality for video recording and tracking. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this interface. Okay, so now we're back in the interface here. And as you can see, it looks very similar to Outlook, for example. Over on the left here, you have your folders, then tags, and your applets. And I'll go over each of these just real quickly here. Then over on the top, you'll have uh, your tabs for the particular applications within the system, mail, address book, calendars, tasks, IM, documents, etc. Really cool, and I'll go over each of these again just real quickly. So let's go over to the left, and as you'll see here, you can just right-click on the category, and you can create a new folder, etc. Or you can click on a folder, and you can click on share, for example. You can do this within any of the context areas, such as the address book, calendar, etc. And it gives you the ability to share and set the roles, uh, that sort of thing. Then tags. Are, uh, tags are really the new web 2.0 way to organize yourself. What you do is you use the folders as well as tags to really get granular and specific on how you organize your content so that you can very easily and quickly find what it is that you're looking for. Now incidentally, a lot, a lot of people, including myself, I use tags uh, quite a bit but I also just leave stuff untagged because of our advanced search functionality, which I'll, I'll go over real quickly. Uh, you'll be able to find stuff. You literally just type in whatever it is you're looking for, and it finds it. It's really, really slick. All right, so now the applets. What applets are are the ability to integrate third-party information systems and content right into the Mail F5 interface. So, for example, this could be any back office system that you have uh, or any third-party information systems that you access, we could build an applet to allow you to access that information right from within here so that you don't have to open up and log into any additional windows. It's literally available right from here. So for example, I can click on Yahoo Local, and that gives me the search capability. So let's say, for example, I want to take out a customer, and I am looking for a, a nice Mexican restaurant. And I can go ahead and just click on OK. And you'll see here then the results come back and you'll see all the Mexican restaurants that are right next to you. And it's pretty cool And then it gives you the number of stars for the restaurant, the phone number, how to contact them, that sort of thing. And this is a map. You can also have a satellite uh, view as well as a hybrid, which is a satellite with a map overlay, which is really slick as well. But this is what I'm talking about. So this is a third-party information system, essentially. Uh, Yahoo Local that we've built into, and it allows you to use this information right within the Mail F5 interface. So like I said, it's, it's a lot easier for you and uh, a lot quicker. Okay, so just one other thing that I want to cover real quickly, and this is regarding applets and making content active within the Mail F5 interface. In this uh, particular instance, we are going to talk about active email, uh, which is what we're calling this. And as you can see, that this is just a regular email here. 
And if you hover over information in email, specific information, you'll see that it is actually active. You can actually click on this phone number and it will make a call in Skype. And if you have any voice over IP or SIP enabled voice over IP PBX, you can actually build an applet to integrate right into uh, that system. And so that you can click any phone number in the address book or in an email and it'll make a call over that IP PBX. And we will here shortly have a solution for voice over IP for businesses. Uh, and you, like I said, you can hover over tomorrow, it'll give you a, what you see on your calendar for tomorrow. And then if it said yesterday, it would do the same thing. You can hover over any email address, it will show you what is available uh, in the address book for that contact. You can click on UA84, United Airlines 84, and it will actually use the flight status applet and get that information for you, uh, update you on this, uh, the flight of that status. You can click a button and it will actually enter that into your calendar then. Okay, that's it. Okay, so then over down here on the left, you can see our calendar widget. And you'll find that uh, if you're using the web interface, which we do exclusively now, is that you'll use this calendar widget a lot. So no matter what context you're in, you'll be able to see this calendar widget. And you can literally hover over it to see what you have scheduled for that day. And you can see here I have two different calendars, one for business, one for personal, and uh, they're different colors. And then what you can do is just right click on it, add a new appointment, uh, you know, new all day appointment, etc. You can email the schedule, that sort of thing. And then you'll see that you can just click on any day and it'll come up. Now this is pretty cool as I mentioned is that you can have multiple calendar overlays within uh, a single calendar. So for example, you can see here we have two calendars. Blue is personal and orange is business. And it's all within one calendar and you can see the different colors. And incidentally, you can also have Evite calendars, which is another system that we have built into. So for example, if you have an Evite calendar, which we do, but I just don't have it plugged in or set up for this particular account, you can click on this check mark and it'll actually overlay your Evite calendar events right within this calendar. So it'd be in yellow, actually. All right, so also within the calendar, if you have the video edition or the network edition mailbox, you actually have calendar sharing, which allows you to book other people uh, in the system and see their free busy time, etc. Essentially have exchange functionality plus more right here on the web. So for example, let's say we scheduled a meeting here. Let's double click on this and now you can see that we have, uh, you can see people's schedules and uh, you can invite people here to start, uh, start typing their name and then you can see people that are available and add them and then their calendars will show up here whether they're free, their, their time's unknown, busy, etc. There's the key codes up here. And uh, then you can find attendees uh, right from within here. You can find locations, uh, find resources. Find locations would be meeting rooms, for example. Find resources would be projectors, that sort of thing. So it's really cool. And uh, it does all this on the web rather than having a heavy-duty uh, desktop application that's fairly cumbersome. So but you can still use our system in Outlook or Apple Mail and uh, have both uh, POP or IMAP access as well as uh, Mappy Sync, which gives you all of the exchange functionality. So then into the address book real quick, you can see that it's very easy to find information. Uh, you can literally just click on any of these tabs. Obviously, we don't have anybody in most of them, but um, you can find them easily that way. Or you can just search. And regardless of how much data you have in here, and this is what's really neat with the Tain response, is that no matter how much data you have, whether it's 10 gigs or 20 gigs of data in here, You'll type in a search, and it'll come back near instantaneously. So it's really cool in that you really don't really have to organize yourself. I mean, you really can just leave everything in your inbox and then just search for stuff. And uh, the system will actually find it and find it, like I said, near instantly. Then you have the advanced search as well. You can click on this and click any number of panes that you like in here to really get granular in what you're searching for. And then you can save your searches and save your searches right here, and those will be available. And uh, it's really, really cool. All right, so let's close this and then go over to, we actually saw the calendar. Let's go into tasks 